Coming up on today's episode, flight testing the Pipistrel Panthera Part 1. The arsenal of democracy flyover is weathered out, and Zero Avia completes the world's first hydrogen electric passenger plane flight. I'm Sophie Herlock. One of the efforts Aero News Network and Jim Campbell are best known for are our flight test reports. However, the amount of work required to keep ANN on the straight and level hasn't allowed us to do any for a while. Further, we've been aggressively pursuing a new plan for how to conduct them in terms of the many media options currently available. Well, for now, the highly detailed and long-awaited flight test report on the Pipistrel Panthera is now online with parts one and two so far of the massive 8,000-word six-part report. The rest of the report will be unveiled in portions every few days. Shortly thereafter, we will also produce a video report once we have finalized our video test criteria. ANN prides itself on doing extensive, honest, highly detailed and critical flight reports. It's what real test reports are supposed to do. And with the onslaught of truly awful, occasionally laughable, and often errant YouTube instant aero experts filling cyberspace, we want you to know that we stand for something better than that. Because you deserve far more than guesswork and another example of YouTube amateurism. So skipping to the end, how did the Panthera do? Jim seems impressed. It's pretty much as fast as they claim, pretty comfortable to fly, offers a solid stability and control profile, and outside of a few small grumbles here and there, the Panthera proved itself quite nicely. Check out ANM for the massive Pipistrel Panthera flight test. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Swift Fuels proudly introduces the Forever Avgas STC. One simple upfront purchase entitles the Forever STC certificate holder to receive all current and future Avgas STCs that the FAA issues to Swift Fuels. The best part? It's priced today at only $100, and the prepaid certificate never expires. Get your Forever Avgas STC today at SwiftFuelsAvgas.com. Welcome back, it's time for today's trip around the patch. On Friday, NASA released its first agency-wide economic impact report, which was commissioned to better understand how the U.S. economy benefited in fiscal year 2019 from America's lunar and Mars exploration efforts. The report showed that through all of their activities, the agency generated more than $64.3 billion in total economic output, supported more than 312,000 jobs nationwide, and generated an estimate $7 billion in federal, state, and local taxes throughout the country. The study was conducted by the Natalie P. Voorhees Center for Neighborhood and Community Improvement, which is widely recognized as one of the foremost organizations conducting economic impact studies for corporations, communities, and government agencies. The FAA has made it easier for drone pilots to quickly and safely access controlled airspace by adding 133 air traffic facilities to the Low Altitude Authorization and Notification Capability System. Lance is an automated application and approval system for drone pilots requesting to fly below 400 feet in controlled airspace and directly supports UAS integration into the airspace. This expansion is based on feedback from the drone community. Eco Helicopters has announced the launch of EcoMax on-demand urban air mobility, developed specifically for the Los Angeles metropolitan area, which will reportedly begin operations in the second quarter of 2021. The program will provide economical transportation by combining Eco Helicopters' direct booking app with their efficient, all-electric zero-emissions EcoMax helicopter. Based upon the FAA-certified Robinson R44 Raven 2 airframe, EcoMax will initially launch using the helicopter's existing power plant, but will upgrade to all electric operations once FAA supplemental type certification for the propulsion system is completed. 
Last Thursday, the first Brazilian Gripen E, designated by the Brazilian Air Force's F-39 Gripen, concluded its first flight in Brazil, flying from the airport in Navagantes to Embraer's facility in Gabo Peixoto. The aircraft is scheduled to be officially presented during Aviators Day and the Brazilian Air Force Day ceremony in Brasilia on October 23rd. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Introducing the new ELT-345 from Artex. This emergency locator transmitter, or ELT, boasts an industry low price, while providing the same quality and performance on which the Artex brand was built. GPS data is embedded within the first emergency transmission and provides search and rescue personnel with the aircraft location within 100 meters in less than a minute. Take to the skies knowing that you have the highest performing and reliable equipment on board. View our selection of ELTs and safety products at www.artex.com. Artex, your best last chance. Affordable and economical, Pipistrol is proud to present the Alpha Trainer. The aircraft can use as little as 2.5 gallons per hour in a flight school setting, with multiple students and instructors each day. This means that 13.2 gallons of fuel can effectively give you as much as 5 hours of endurance. Learn more about what the Pipistrel Alpha Trainer can do for you at pipistrel-usa.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. The 2020 Arsenal of Democracy flyover, commemorating the 75th anniversary of the end of World War II, was canceled on Saturday due to weather conditions that made it unsafe for the aircraft to take flight. Unfortunately, there will be no other attempts to fly, as the authorization to fly through the Washington, D.C. restricted airspace has already expired. The Arsenal of Democracy did, however, present a video tribute on behalf of the Bob and Dolores Hope Foundation, the U.S. Department of Defense, and other sponsors. The tribute included footage of the rarest World War II aircraft and interviews with veterans participating in the aerial tribute, which can be viewed on the Arsenal of Democracy's Facebook and YouTube pages. The Arsenal of Democracy Executive Committee stated that while they're disappointed they couldn't deliver their planned aerial tribute to honor World War II veterans for their service, they are pleased to have been able to offer special programming to commemorate the end of World War II, with the never-before-seen footage of many of the aircraft scheduled to participate in the flyover. Zero Avia has completed the world's first hydrogen fuel cell powered flight of a commercial grade aircraft. The flight took place last Thursday at the company's R&D facility in Cranfield, England with the Piper M class 6 seat plane completing taxi, takeoff, a full pattern circuit and landing. Zero Avia's achievement is the first step to realizing the transformational possibilities of moving from fossil fuels to zero emissions hydrogen as the primary energy source for commercial aviation. Eventually, and without any new fundamental sciences required, hydrogen-powered aircraft will match the flight distances and payload of the current fossil fuel aircraft. This major milestone on the road to commercial zero emission flight is part of the High Flyer Project, a sequential R&D program supported by the UK government and follows the UK's first ever commercial scale battery electric flight conducted in the same aircraft in June. Zero Avia will now turn its attention to the next and final stage of its six seat development program, a 250 mile zero emission flight out of an airfield in Orkney before the end of this year. And that wraps up our show for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to like and subscribe. You can also check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and for the latest aviation and aerospace news any time of the day, head over to aero-news.net. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you right back here tomorrow.